upsetting thing. We've rescued the donkey. When the donkey actually came, she was eating more. I actually was able to get more food into her. Since she's come, we've had to get the teeth done because she, the teeth were just horrendous. I mean, they were, they were actually going through the other side of a, a mouth when she tried to eat. She was in so much pain. We've had her inoculated, we've had her wormed, and she's also had to have her feet done because the feet were so long. You know, so we're not sure whether we've done so much and it's actually traumatised her or whether the inoculation has, has caused a problem because obviously her immune system is so low. But we've had a blood test done this morning and obviously from the blood test we can actually find out what the problem is and we're hoping that we can obviously make it better. The bridle was actually uh, growing into her skin, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I would imagine that the head collar that she had on, she had had on all her life. This is often the case with Spanish horses and donkeys. Um, when they're of a certain age, they'll just stick a head collar on and that head collar will stay there forever till it rots or falls off. Um, and then what they do is they just tie it up with string. Where it breaks, it rots, they just tie bits of string in. This one, because the donkey is quite old, had actually gone into her, behind her ears, into the skull, through the flesh. To take it off, I had to physically pull it out. And obviously you can imagine the pus and the slime that came out with that head collar. Um, obviously, the, you know, she's been treated for it. But also, you know, where that had bits of string to keep it together, they'd pulled under a chin. And there was also bits of string that were tied from the head collar very tightly onto her neck, which were also pulling into her neck, and they'd actually use those as reins to ride her, as the other two had also been done. Yeah. So what are your hopes for the donkey and the mare as well? The mare, she's going to be fine. We had a little bit of a scare this morning. Um, she got colic. Um, that's due to the fact that she's been without food for so long. And obviously, you know what it's like. You rescue something, and because you want to feed it. And maybe I gave her a little bit too much food, so basically she got a tummy upset. But it's passed with what we walked her for about three hours early this morning. It's cleared, the vet's checked her, she's fine. It's a reaction because obviously from nothing to suddenly regular food, it's a shock to the system. But she will be fine. We know for a fact that Chance is going to make it because she's already gained a little bit of weight. Um, so that's the positive side. The donkey, we're waiting for the blood analysis and 